who was Anatar? The short answer is, this is one of the names given to Sauron when he's in his fear form. In the Rings of Power, this was portrayed by the character Halbrand. In the books, it says that when he came among the Noldor, he adopted a specious fear form, and the name that Sauron gave to himself at that time was Anatar, the Lord of Gifts. The show likely didn't have the rights to use the name Anatar, though there is clearly a reference to this, when Halbrand says that his advice is basically a gift. In the books, it says that Sauron posed as an emissary of the Valar, and basically, he pretended he was coming from the gods to help the elves. Anatar wasn't the only name he used. He also used the name Artano, meaning High Smith, and Alendil, meaning Serpent of Aule. Anatar tried to trick the High Elven King first, but to Linden he did not come, for Gilgalad and Elrond doubted him and his fair seeming. And though they knew not who in truth he was, they would not admit him to that land. Anatar then traveled to Aragion to trick the elves there, and he perceived at once that Galadriel would be the chief adversary and obstacle. So he deceived many elves, and he persuaded them to revolt against Galadriel and Celeborn, and to seize power in Aragion. Galadriel thereupon left Aragion. Anatar deceives Celebrimbor. In the year 1500, the elven smiths, instructed by Sarn, reach the height of their skill. They begin the forging of the rings of power. And then, Sarn forges the One Ring. As soon as he puts it on, Celebrimbor realizes his mistake. When Sarn learned of the repentance and revolt of Celebrimbor, his disguise fell, and his wrath was revealed. So ends the story of Anatar, but not of Sarn. Leave a comment down below if you like this video, and please consider subscribing and checking out my other Middle Earth videos. Also check out the amazing artwork, music, and sources I consulted for the making of this video in the description below.